which is what that one topic which is really really difficult to keep in memory definitely it's biomolecules so in biomolecules there are various parts like memorizing the names memorizing the structures memorizing uh, what category they fall into and all such things so today we are just beginning with how we memorize certain names of the biomolecules and the category they fall in let's begin without wasting wasting much time so yeah keep your pen and paper ready because you have to write this down and it's going to be helpful for you in future as well let's start so what is the idea of a reducing sugar let's know what a reducing sugar is then we will go to the memory hack so a reducing sugar is an any sugar that is capable of acting as a reducing agent because it has a free aldehyde group or free ketone group and all the monosaccharides are uh, reducing sugars and a sh any sugar that contain a hemiacetal group is a reducing sugar so what we have to keep in mind the sugar which has a free ketone or al aldehyde group is a reducing sugar also it might have a hemiacetal group in it and all the monosaccharides are reducing sugar now let's see these are the names of the reducing sugar maltose arabinose glucose fructose lactose and glyceraldehydes and now we might wonder there are these many names how to memorize them we have come up with a hack to memorize these names so you definitely know these are the things present in reducing sugars and in exams like msc chemistry exam of quizet usually you are supposed to choose one option among the given option which is a reducing sugar even last year we did have a question from this part so let's see what the hack for this is the memory trick is to memorize this sentence mass arabian girlfriend lacked glycerin in her red eyes so here mal stands for maltose arabian stands for the arabinose g stands for girlfriend that is g stands for glucose and f stands for what it's fructose lact that is lactose and glycerin stands for glyceraldehyde in her red eyes so what is red it's a reducing sugar so keep this one sentence in your mind and if you see the options just just think of this sentence and there you go you know which of them are the reducing sugar and which of them is not a reducing sugar i hope it's really clear to you so hello to all happy faces you just got a memory trick today now let's see about what a non reducing sugar is a non reducing sugar does not have a free ketone or aldehyde group and these sugars have acetal in place of hemiacetal so these is a hemiacetal group and let's see what are the non reducing sugars the non reducing sugars are sucrose raffinose trehalose verbose and stachyose so let's see what the memory hack is srt's versatile stands just remember this sentence so all of you might love, might be loving cricket so what who is srt who is srt we should know it's sachin ramesh tendulkar and srt srt's versatile stance is actually something we often hear in the commentary uh, when sachin comes for batting so just remember this one sentence srt's versatile stance and now there you go the non reducing sugar names can be studied from this so here we have sucrose you have uh, raffinose t for trehalose versatile which is a verb as close and stachyose stand the stand stands for stachyose and yes that is the memory hack to memorize the names of the non reducing sugars repeat the sentence and just write down the names in be below the sentence and definitely it will stay in your memory for a very very long time let's see about monosaccharides now monosaccharides are the simplest units for uh, carbohydrates and the single form of sugar we know mono means one and it's the basic units in carbohydrates so fructose glucose and galactose are monosaccharides so let's see how to memorize that these are the monosaccharides uh, monosaccharides so this is the sentence that would help you to memorize this gloomy moonu's frustrated girlfriend 
So gloomy stands for glucose. Mono is the monosaccharides, short short for the monosaccharides. Frustrated definitely is fructose, and girlfriend it is galactose. So in a sentence you can always memorize which category it falls into. That is monosaccharide, and what are the examples in that particular category? So repeat after me. Gloomy monos, frustrated girlfriend, and it stands for monosaccharides, which are glucose, fructose, and galactose. Hope it's really, really clear to you. And please repeat these sentences so that it will stay in your memory forever. And let me tell you a important tip before we go into the next thing. It is often seen that visual memories and the things like stories or sentences stay in your mind longer than the way we write and study something. Okay, so when you repeat these sentences, sentences multiple times, this is not something that you usually do. So everything different that we are doing in a day will stay in your mind forever. That is exactly what we are trying to make use in the series. Like we will be giving something new to you, and since that is different from what you usually do, it's gonna stay in your mind. I can assure you that. Now let's go to oligosaccharides. So three to twenty monosaccharides, which can be connected by a glycosidic bonds, uh, will be making up an oligosaccharides, and uh, these are typically used to move monosaccharides and store them for short times. So what are the examples for these oligosaccharides? They are lactose, sucrose, and maltose. Let's see what sentence can make you memorize these three. It is lovely suma. So in this sentence, la stands for lactose. Oli definitely it's the oligosaccharide, and S U of suma is sucrose, and M A stands for maltose. So lovely suma, and yeah, here I have the image of a lovely girl in here. You will keep this in mind because it's quite funny. So oligosaccharide, lactose, sucrose, maltose. It's lovely suma. You should repeat after me and also. Write this down for future memory purposes. Now the next sentence. It's about polysaccharides. Polysaccharides, as we know, are high molecular weight molecules, and these are uh, when monosaccharides are joined together by glycosidic bonds. And definitely, I have not uh, made a sentence for this because it's very clear. If uh, starch, glycogen, and uh, cellulose are given, you know that it is polysaccharide. And all the others, once we study, we don't need any categorization for these three. So the example for polysaccharides are starch, glycogen, and cellulose (SGC). So this is simple. We'll jump on to the next topic. So the next topic here is about essential amino acids. So what are essential amino acids? Now we have uh, we completed the portion of carbohydrates, and now we are jumping on to essential amino acids. So essential amino acids are the ones which cannot be made by the body, and therefore we should replenish their quantity into the body through food. so essential amino acid will come to our body through food and they are extremely important let's see how to memorize the essential amino acids so these are the essential amino acids methionine threonine histidine phenylalanine valine isoleucine tryptophan lysine and leucine and so the sentence that we are going to memorize this is my tall handsome friend valentine is typing love letter my tall handsome friend valentine is typing love letter this is extremely simple because always you can memorize this sentence and then when you see an option you can identify which does not fall into the essential amino acid and which of the given options fall into the category of essential amino acids so basically for this set of memory hacks what we had taken into consideration is to make you memorize the different biomolecules falling into various categories like reducing sugar non reducing sugar monosaccharides polysaccharides oligosaccharides then essential amino acids and how to memorize those names and all of the entrances these days are multiple choice questions and memorizing the 
names of these through sentences or certain figures will always prove helpful because most of the time you have to identify something out of the code it's not like you have to write it down out of the blue you have to identify one among the four options given so this would perfectly helpful be helpful for you in the long run it might not seem like uh, a very easy thing in the first go but i i guarantee you that this is going to be helpful for you in coming days so yes there is more to come from the memory hacks let's keep it short and simple for the day study well and please stay tuned to this uh, memory hacks in chemistry series this is going to have going to have a lot variety of stuffs coming in thank you so much for watching subscribe the channel hit the bell icon for latest notification like the video and uh, just let us know what are the portions in which you would like to have certain memory hacks we will definitely try to prepare something for those let's let's do that let's have a survey of which topics you find difficult to memorize we will take all your requests into concern so you can you can request as many parts as possible definitely that is going to happen thank you all the best everyone stay safe at home Thank you.